For Katie Dahlia, damaged hundreds of homes along the Gulf Coast nearly a month ago. But as the cleanup continues, residents of the small Manatee County community of Rabonia face an uncertain future. Many are still trying to cover costly repairs. And as Fox 13's Kimberly Quizon reports, a lot of help is needed from the outside. Exhausted but continuing to work, residents in Rabonia are far from finished. I haven't come back home yet. I'm still out. Mary Goff's floors have been ripped out and family belongings lay drying out with mold. It's just like a waste. It's like a hit in the chest that you don't get rid of overnight. She's not alone. We never had so much water because I still had water sitting in my house. Veronica McCray's home and her mother's across the way had significant damage. FEMA gave them around $700, but the damage goes into the thousands. I'm hoping that we can scratch it. But if it's not, we just got to do what we can do. Manatee County and the Red Cross went door to door working to determine residents' needs. They even brought FEMA in for assistance. Floor is weak. You can bounce and feel it, you know, giving way. You can smell the mold when you first walk in. The community organizations like the NAACP and the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce says so much more is needed. So we've solicited general contractors that can do some pro bono work. We are looking to um, also partner with Lowe's, perhaps, but we need the we need to know what the the, uh, the actual damages are so that we know what materials are going to be necessary in order to get them back up to par. Some of the damage here had been ongoing for years, but these groups say it's time to fix it for good. To us, we're going to ask for volunteers, ask for support and, uh, and construction work, and we're going to fix these homes. In Rabonia, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.